So there were a few things that made me want to go into law. Um, first of all, the variety, um, just because there's so many different options, different areas that you can choose to practice in. Um, but mainly, I think, regardless of which area you specialise in, working in the legal profession is, is all about creative problem solving. So your client comes to you with a goal or with a problem, and you have to help them find the solution to that but within the confines of the English legal system. And I think that's a really interesting challenge and it's a challenge that's going to be different every single client that you see. Um, so yeah, that and just knowing that um, it's the kind of career where not every day is going to be the same. Uh, so I started studying law at a relatively um, early stage. I did a law A level and ever since then my interest in um, law has developed. Uh, I didn't know what area of law I wanted to be involved in um, then, but as time's developed um, I found Ellison's and I've kind of morphed into a property lawyer, which um, I enjoy very much. My journey probably wasn't as conventional as others, so I studied law um, at university. After that I did the LPC, but I did the LPC part-time whilst actually working at Ellison's in the post room. From the post room, I progressed to a paralegal and role, and upon completion of my LPC, was lucky enough to secure a training contract. And from there, I've qualified and stayed with the firm for uh, six years post-qualification now, and up to 10 years in total. So it's been a, been a long but rewarding journey. So I applied for a training contract at Ellison's in 2017. Um, I was then invited for an interview a year later and a couple of weeks after that interview I got offered a training contract. Um, I started my training contract at Ellison's in September 2019 and I'm currently in my third and final seat doing corporate and commercial work. Applying for training contracts is like quite daunting, um, but it was really straightforward um, from the online application to coming in, being interviewed by the partners. Um, it's quite intimidating when you're sat in front of four partners and you know you've got to impress them because training contracts are so competitive. Um, but I really felt like they were really interested in getting to know me as a person um, and they listened to specific things that I was saying in the interview and then they picked up on that and they challenged me on things that specifically I had said rather than just asking me generic questions um, which I found really reassuring throughout the whole process. So I found the application process at Ellison's really straightforward. Um, at the time that I applied for a training contract, the process involved um, submitting a CV and cover letter, uh, followed by an interview um, with a panel of four interviewers, and then shortly after that, a offer followed for a training contract. It's quite hard to remember my experience joining the firm because it was about 10 years ago, um, but I do always remember how friendly Ellison's is how approachable the partners are and how they are keen for trainees and anyone that joins the firm to progress and to develop. So very, very friendly firm, good experience, and I'm still here 10 years later. I was really surprised at just how approachable and friendly everyone was, um, from secretaries all the way up to partners. Everyone made me feel really welcome when I joined the firm. For me, I think it's got to be people skills it's got to be communication skills, and it's, it's got to be the ability to slot in, not only to the firm, but also to work well with clients. I would say that the key skills needed to become a trainee at Ellison's are good organisation, adaptability, and enthusiasm. It's difficult to pick just one thing, but I think the best moment so far for me was there was a case that I had worked on very closely with the fee earner on um, and was heavily involved in the preparations for trial. Um, getting the outcome that we wanted at trial when you have done a lot of work on that case is so rewarding because you really feel like you've contributed to um, getting that outcome. So I think that was the first time that happened. Um, that was felt like a real win for me. Uh, I think my highlight throughout my career at Ellison's um, was, I'd have to say, qualifying. Um, you know, being a solicitor is something I've wanted to do for an awful long time. And um, I was really grateful for the quality of the training that I received at Ellison's. And um, it's been, you know, an honour to qualify here and um, progress my career. 
It's really good. Um, everyone that I've worked with in terms of the partners in the departments has been really supportive and has been really um, helpful in terms of giving me detailed feedback so I know how I can do better the next time and what I'm doing well. Um, and also on a personal level, um, there's always someone that you can um, kind of go to regardless of what the issue is. I've never really felt like I've had a problem and I've not been able to just pick up the phone and call someone who I know is going to be able to help me. Um, so I have felt really supported the whole way through. I think the support's really good. Um, everyone's very friendly, there's an open door policy, everyone's very approachable. The firms see their trainees and all staff as their future. So you come in the door as a trainee and from day one, you've got the support there that you need to progress to qualify and to yeah move through I keep saying move through the ranks but you don't here to stay with the firm and progress your career it's a yeah really supportive friendly open door policy advice for future trainees would be come to the firm with an open mind um, you know when I first started at Ellison's I didn't have a definitive area that I wanted to qualify into I think you just need to try everything um, be open to all areas of law and just see where the trainee journey takes you. My advice for future trainees would be to have an open mind, don't be shy to ask questions and probably most importantly enjoy your trainee contract experience.